So I'm literally in the middle of like doing a video and I went upstairs obviously to make like a sandwich for myself and I come down and I hear that noise. You hear that noise in the background? I think Vector approves of somehow whatever went on his back. I think you guys know what that is. But if he was literally left here forever, he would literally purr himself to death. And yeah, don't be this guy right here, which I'm going to show you. Oh, it's hot in here. It actually isn't going to be as hot as it's going to be in that thing right there. Look at all the dogs. They're like, hey, what are you doing? So watch this. Brake on. Now this is something that I've definitely got to square away <laughs> before my wife comes back. You see that right there? What does that say? Keyless battery whatever remote battery low it's been like that for i don't know like a year so anyways uh let's move the crv twenty seventeen Honda CRV but obviously it does apply to other vehicles as well uh, so today on What's Up Guy Garage, not RC Guy Garage, we're going to do something that's uh, very easily taken care of and should have been taken care of probably about a year ago. So this is a 2017 Honda CRV. This is actually my wife's vehicle. And for, I want to say about a year, my remote, which is this one right here, we've been having, or I, I have been having obviously issues with it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So obviously you can see Honda does its little thing right there on display whatever put your foot on the brake press the start button and then what do we get right here so the first thing that you see was that say keyless remote battery low now that i'm gonna shut it off now that's been going on for i say about a year but i'm actually not sure now right now at this point let's check and see if my remote it senses that i'm here it unlocks the doors well, let's see if it will, when I walk away. All right, so it locked the doors. I don't know if you could hear that. So now it locked the doors, all right? So now, let's see if it auto starts. This is where I think the function is no longer working. So for auto start, you have to hit the lock, lock, press and hold. Ah, all right, well, it works. Ah, I don't know. All right, so apparently it still does work. You know what it might be? It might be range. Can I? The doors are unlocking. All that stuff is happening. Hmm. I don't know. Let's shut it off. All right, let's hop out again. And of course, you know, now that I'm trying to show you that, now see this time it didn't recognize the key fob. So let's lock it. Ah. Right now it's not locking. So what's going on here? All right, try it again. See what happens. Walk away. And of course it's gonna lock. Yep, it just locked. <sighs> Alright, so... Maybe this video makes no sense, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to replace the battery. So you can go ahead and get rid of that annoying on-dash display that says that your battery's low. It does still take quite a while for the battery itself, like I guess this uh, little transponder or transmitter, or whatever you want to call it, guess you call this a transmitter for this transmitter to die um, I definitely would recommend buying a set of two two batteries uh, just because uh, it's kind of like that you know old scenario with the headlights if you have one headlight that goes out as long as it's not a wiring issue replace the other bulb at the same time because there is the possibility that the other bulb is going to go out and that's why they sell them in pairs of two normally so let's see right now, will this thing, will this CRV from this range, which isn't that far away, let's see if it'll actually start up. So, hit the lock. Oh, of course it's working now. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> you have no idea. Like, why is it working now? That doesn't make any sense. Now, you know what I do wonder? I wonder if it's going to recognize that the battery is low coming into the car. Because right now, oh, you can see, it is saying it. It is saying. It says the battery is low. So, obviously, it does recognize that. Can I? Yeah, there we go. So, battery's low. All right, well, what I was trying to show you, what I was trying to show you is I was trying to show you that the key fob's distance wasn't performing as well as it was in the past. So, let's just replace this battery. I'm actually going to do it in car because it's just that easy. So, the battery that this, yeah, of course, it falls out. I already replaced the one in my wife's car. So, the battery that this thing needs is actually this battery right here, which is a... 2032 we got energizer i usually always get duracell um or i get um what's the other name brand that i get yeah i can't remember what the other name brand i get is but this was just you know what was available at the time obviously you just break through the package you can see on the back side of there it says it's a 2032 right there i think you can see that just grab your key fob on the back side of the key fob and by the way just in case you didn't know this section right here, this is actually a, a key. So there's a little lever that's right there, right? See that little lever? So push that lever to the side, you can pull your key out. Now this is your key to, I guess, open the door and uh, lock the glove box and have some kind of security uh, for the vehicle. Now inside of here is where the battery is. And what I do is you can, you can pry it with your fingers, but I just take the little key pry it to the side just like that which cracks this open pull this open now this is the part that you have to be careful about because this is all plastic uh, you don't want to break this thing what you want to do is is basically take like your fingernail and push this way and pry up while you're doing it and you can see that the battery actually kind of pries up from that location right there so this section right here that is obviously the negative side of the battery, and then obviously the plus side of the battery is what the flat side is with all the what writing on it. You just want to make sure you grab your new battery, this one right here, place it in the same way that it came out, give it a push in, and then now we should be good. So after you get the battery in there, you can pretty much just close it up takes a little bit of pressure to uh, snap it together. Um, I haven't really found... <laughs> I just locked the door. I haven't really found that there's actually uh, any particular way, like top to bottom, side to side. It's just basically just snapping it together. Um, but it definitely is easier. I have found, I mean, like I said, you can use your fingers, but if you just take the key and you put it into that little notched section that's right here, you can pry it apart just a little bit easier. Go ahead and take your key, put your key back in place. Now let's see. Now let's see if it actually works. So like I said, it's just one of those things of just don't be that guy. Just get it done. Get both of them done at the same time. Get two batteries, get four batteries, whatever you want. I suggest obviously just getting two unless you've got other remotes that do the same thing. Probably similar to, I don't know. Like I said, either the headlights or not necessarily like changing out your smoke detector batteries. That's something on a different level. But now that we're inside the car, now I'm going to put my foot on the brake, press the start. Let's see. Was that battery any good? Hey, look at that. Fasten seatbelt. And right now it would have actually said the battery was low. So now we can go ahead and shut that off. So that was just a very easy um explanation and or i think video just showing you that you know don't be that guy or girl whatever you are don't be that individual how about that don't be that individual that you know waits you know like two years until like let's just say the day you finally go ahead and get in the car or let's say you went to a store right you go to a store everything was fine it's been alerting you for like over a year and then you get to the store and now you walk in and then for some strange reason, maybe the thing being in your pocket 
pocketbook, whatever you got. Uh, maybe the button was being pressed the whole entire time. Then when you come out, now you can't get into your car. So yeah, I don't know. That was just a very short video from What's Up Guy Garage, also RC Guy Garage, um, replacing the battery in the remote of a 2017 Honda CRV. Hope you enjoyed that minor tutorial. So yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know anything about the RC hobby, check out my channel, RC Guy Garage. You know, might find something that you might like. So, anyways, I'm out of here. Uh, that's it. Just go. Just replace those batteries, will you? Bam! That truck right there, because that thing is a thing of beauty. I'll tell you right now, man. I definitely made an awesome decision when I bought this truck. This thing has taken so much of just not only my abuse, but the abuse of Point Blank New England.